how you manage your stress really matters. Now, we live in a world, for most of us, that stress can be pretty high at times, and we have that ability to manage it. Yet, when we get into a stressful situation, we get more into overwhelm or anxiety because we allow that, that, that hormone to come through our bodies and take over. And so that's our stress response at the time is like, I can't handle this right now. I don't know what to do. And so we go into this absolute shutdown of the situation, allowing that stress situation to then take over. Now, knowing how to manage the situation is super important. And one of those things we need to do is understand that we have the power of our mindset to turn anything and everything around. But if we don't train our brain to, to understand that we can control what's going on within us. And more importantly, our brain believes everything we tell it. So if we are telling it constantly that we are under stress and we're not coping and it's, and it's just changing our lives and it's negative, our brain begins to accept that. And so therefore tied into our emotions, it's going to be a negative impact on our wellness. So the other thing we need to do is understand exactly what's happening within our bodies at that time. Not only do we have the cortisol hormone release in our body that's there to protect us, that's a great thing if we're only a short-term stress and it all goes away. But if you're under a long-term stress, and so therefore it never goes away, that heart pounding that you're experiencing is sending more oxygen to your brain, but what it's also doing is it's constricting the blood vessels that are in your body and going to your heart and your brain. So that constriction that you're, you're holding onto through chronic stress never goes away. And this is why people have heart attacks when they are under massive stressful situations because of that constricting of the blood vessels. But when you know what's happening within you and you know you have that ability and strength to turn it all around, then this is where you can save your own life really at the end of the day. It's understanding again that the very first thing we need to do is understand if we're under just general stress that is going to be very short term and, and go away, or is it going to be long term and chronic? If you're living under chronic, be aware of that chronic situation. What is the crux of it? Then knowing what's happening to your vessels and the fact that again, you are constricting the blood flow, we need to be able to stop and we want to relax those vessels. To do that, we have to breathe. Now think about it. If you're on an airplane and you're in a stressful situation on an airplane, what are they going to get you to do? They're going to give you a brown paper bag and they're going to ask you to slowly breathe in and slowly breathe out so you can hear those breaths and you can feel those breaths going in and out. It is no different. All they're doing is asking you to make sure that we, with your blood vessels, that you're allowing them to, to not be constricted. So therefore, deep breathing is the number one thing that you can do if you're in a very stressful situation lay down on a bed, sit in a chair, whatever it may be, and just breathe. Deep breaths in, slow in through the nose and then out through the mouth. 10 deep breaths as they get slower and slower will make a massive difference to your well-being. But just remember, it's how you think about it. Because if you think that it's this situation can't be managed, I don't know what to do, I'm in a terrible state, blah, 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 you are just causing damage and restricting those blood vessels. But if you know, I can manage this, this is a good thing, this is my body telling me that I'm in this situation and I can get out of this situation. It's pumping more oxygen to my brain, so I've got that ability to think clearer, I'm going to take my deep breaths and I'm going to be able to get through and think clearly about this situation. Can you see how it works? So you can manage your stress, you can manage your life and well-being if you just become aware of what's happening within you and how you can turn it all around so that you can manage it. Stress can be a very good thing. It doesn't always have to be a negative thing. And from here on, let's hope you take the negative and switch it around to be able to breathe through it and find a resolution to the problem so it's no longer there as a stressful situation.